Welcome back to Premier League today. It is transfer deadline day, so gets, let's get the very latest with Paul Belverston. He's at the touchscreen, and Newcastle have made a record signing, Paul. They sure have. It's been 14 years since they uh, last broke their transfer record. That was Michael Owen. Today, though, Miguel Almiron, the uh, Paraguayan playmaker, has come in from the MLS side. Atlanta United, he helped them win the MLS Cup with 13 goals, 13 assists as well. He is now a Newcastle player. They've been very busy today. Two players come in uh, today. Antonio Barreca, the other one, a left side wing back Rafa Benitez very excited about this signing as well said that's an area he's been looking to improve for a long time so he's very good going forward and especially at crossing the ball as well other places today Arsenal have uh, brought in Denis Suarez finally this has been rumbling on for so long but he is now an Arsenal player until the end of the season he won the Europa League with Unai Emery before he's theirs until the end of the season but there is uh, an option to make that deal permanent in the summer they've been linked with so many other players it looks very much like this could be the only business they do on this deadline day though. Tyrone Mings has just left Bournemouth. He's gone on loan to Aston Villa. Very interesting things happening at Burnley potentially. They're linked with strikers Charlie Austin, Vincent Janssen who apparently has offers on the table from Spain, Germany, England and France. Cardiff and Burnley said to be uh, two of the Premier League clubs after him. But Peter Crouch at the age of 38 could be coming back to the Premier League in a sort of a swap deal that sees Sam Vokes go to Stoke. Now Crouch has scored more headed goals in the Premier League than almost half of all teams who've ever played in the Premier League. He's got 21, I think it is. Now, he, um, he has also scored for six Premier League clubs. Burnley could be his seventh. That would equal the record. Now, the money they get from this sort of swap deal as well could see them go in late on for Che Adams, who scored 14 goals in the Championship for Birmingham, although they are very keen to keep hold of them, even though Southampton are after him as well, we believe. Chelsea, there was a rumour first thing today about Abdoulaye Decore being a late target for them, but Watford insists he is staying put. He was linked with PSG earlier as well. It could well be players going out of Chelsea still before the deadline. With Michy Bashwai, most likely he's been on loan at Valencia for the first half of this season, but they're looking to cut this deal short. It looks like West Ham and Betis are leading the race to take him on loan until the end of this season. This is a big headline maker first thing as well. PSG said to be looking for a bit of a replacement because of the injury to Neymar, looking at Willian potentially. Now Everton, there was a frenzy of speculation as well earlier today about PSG coming back for Idrissa Ghana Gay. There was talk of a 35 million pound deal being agreed. Everton say that's rubbish. He again staying put at Goodison Park. Leicester, there are pictures going around social media of Yuri Tielemans now being at Leicester's training ground, wearing Leicester's kit. He is a very highly rated midfielder from Monaco, Claude Puel's old club. And this deal we think would see Adrian Silva go in the opposite direction to France. Uh, we've mentioned Newcastle. The most in demand player today appears to be at Southampton. Charles Charlie Austin linked with half a dozen clubs so far, but more are coming in and out all the time. So Ralph Hasenhutl has hinted that he could well be on the move on this deadline day. They'd like to replace him if possible. We mentioned Che Adams. They're also being linked with right backs after letting Cedric go on loan to Inter Milan earlier in the window. Wolves made their first uh, deal of deadline day today. Player that they know very well, of course, Johnny Otto, who was on loan for the first half of the season. He is now a permanent Wolves player player. It's an undisclosed fee. We think about £15 million. Let's finish with Manchester United because the first signing of the post-Sir Alex Ferguson era, it seems his time at Old Trafford is up. Marouane Fellaini is off to China. He's, uh, he's sent posted pictures of himself at the airport. Looks like he's heading out for about £11 million, chaps. Cheers, Paul. Not, not much happening, really. Quite a quiet month, isn't it, so far? But there's still plenty of time. There still mm. might be a little bit more business done before the end of the day. Uh, let's start with that news then. Marouane Fellaini looks like he's leaving mm. United, off to China. Yeah. One of your signings, wasn't he? Well, <laughs> well yourself and David Moyes. Well, the, uh, on, I remember deadline day. Five years ago, uh, I picked him up from his house, took him for his medical, then took him to Carrington to obviously sign the contract. So, uh, obviously divided opinion over the last five years. Looking at it, he, he was picked in a lot of big games by Moyes van Gaal and Jose Marino. I actually think now is the perfect time for him to leave. Uh, surprised he's gone to China because I think we've seen players go to China a lot and come back very fast uh, because it's not the football that they expected. Obviously, the money's great. Uh, 
but not surprised by the quietness of the day, really, or the mm. quietness of the month, I think. Just just in terms of, of Marouane Fellaini, though, uh, mm. how will he be remembered by Man United fans? Do you know what? I, I think it'll be... Like I said, I think he's divided opinion. I think there'll be probably the majority will probably be glad to see him go. But what I would say about Maran Fellaini, looking at his first two seasons when he had to really endure a lot of criticism, I actually do think he won over a lot of people with his character and his performances and the way that he, you know, he, I don't think he scored the goals that he should have done. I think that's what let him down. He came as a goal scorer in midfield play, never really... But was played in different positions as yeah, well, Yeah, probably he? didn't suit the style of Manchester United. But do you know what? You know, he, he was one of those players that never let the club down. And I think he, was, he took part in an era where, where they struggled. Mm. And he was part of that struggle. And, and looking back, uh, I'm sure David Moyes will probably look back and think, you know, as my first signing, should he have signed him? I still think that he, he did OK for Manchester United. But in terms of a fan appreciation... Um, I think the fans will be probably glad that United have moved on from mm. that. And also, of course, Anthony Martial yeah. signed a new deal Massive, at yeah. the club, which is good news, isn't it? Well, it's good news. I mean, six months ago, or was it the last transfer window, Josie was on about releasing him or, or selling him or sending him out on loan. He was unhappy. And you're talking about a 20, 21-year-old lad back then that was £56 million investment that you think, looking at the squad back then, he was probably one of the biggest assets. And and you was talking about thirty, forty million pound bid, so now he's back up to being sixty, seventy million pound player and, and that is a lot to do with Ollie. Mm. Uh, and it's no surprise now. He looks the type of player that needs an arm round his shoulder, needs a an environment where it's gonna help him, an environment where he's gonna have a lot of love. And uh, and I think under the current regime he's got that. So it's great news for the yeah. club that they've got a, a really exciting player. Yeah. Uh, biggest signing of the window so far, Christian Pulisic, who's mm. gone to Chelsea, although we won't see him until next until season because yeah. he's been loaned back. But um, Chelsea are the biggest movers in the yeah. transfer window. Well, yeah, and they brought in Higuain as well. So I think Pulisic is a great sign. I've seen. And let Fabregas go. Yeah, let Fabregas go to Monaco. Uh, Kale, maybe. You know what I mean? Yeah. So Willian, the stock of Willian. So they, they, they are. There's an evolution of that squad there. Uh, Pulisic is a good player. Mm-hmm. I just wonder whether they're thinking Pulisic instead of Hazard. Whether they're just. You know, saving themselves for the for the hazard departure in yeah. the summer. But Pulisic is a really exciting player. He's young. He's American. He's got good experience of playing in top class football in Germany. And it'll be interesting to see how he, he develops at Chelsea. Mm. What about William? Because there's been a lot of talk mm. today as well that PSG uh, may be tempted to put a bid in for him. What do you think? Well, I'd be surprised. I would be absolutely what, surprised. Uh, surprised if they let him go? I'd or be surprised if they let him go. Or yeah, PSG came in for him. You, well, no, no, because I think I think he's a top player, William. I think if if Chelsea, Chelsea, to be fair, over the years under Roma Rubanovic, I've actually accepted a lot of bids for their players. You think of uh, Louise going to PSG. You think of Mata going to Manchester United. They haven't been they haven't been short of selling the players or shy. But I think on deadline day, selling Willian, not having a replacement, Hudson Odoi, maybe you know. So, so whether that's just a case of selling Willian and opening the door for Hudson Odoi and saying, right, yeah, you will play, maybe. I'd be very surprised. I- Wing back, Rafa Benitez, very excited about this signing as well. Said that's an area he's been looking to improve for a long time. Says he's very good going forward and especially at crossing the ball as well. Other places today, Arsenal have uh, brought in Denis Suarez. Finally, this has been rumbling on for so long, but he is now an Arsenal player until the end of the season. He won the Europa League with Unai Emery before he's theirs until the end of the season, but there is uh, an option to make that deal permanent in the summer. They've been linked with so many other players, it looks very much like this could be the only business they do on this deadline day though. Tyrone Mings has just left Bournemouth. He's gone on loan to Aston Villa. Very interesting things happening at Burnley potentially. They're linked with strikers. Charlie Austin, Vincent Janssen who apparently has offers on the table from Spain, Germany, England and France. Cardiff and Burnley said to be uh, two of the Premier League clubs after him. But Peter Crouch at the age of 38 could be coming back to the Premier League in a sort of a swap deal that sees Sam Vokes go to Stoke. Now, Crouch has scored more headed goals in the Premier League than almost half of all teams who've ever played in the Premier League. He's got 21, I think it is. Now, he um, he has also scored for six Premier League clubs. Burnley could be his seventh. That would equal the record. Now, the money they get from this sort of swap deal as well could see them go in late on for Che Adams, who scored 14 goals in the Championship for Birmingham, although they are very keen to keep hold of them, even though so